was Forrest, didn't it? I came to tell you there's no pressure for the money. I and mean, whatever else is wrong, there's no pressure for the money. I've spoken to the people and they're willing to wait till after your court hearing. What court hearing? We were informed this morning that it's been postponed again. Till when? Nobody seems to know. Next calendar is December. That's not too long. And they'll change that one. Why not? They've changed all the others. But can they keep on doing that? They have done for 14 years. This time it was too much for my husband. I should have known it. I should have watched him. Just thought he wanted to be alone. Thought he didn't want me to see him cry. He took an overdose. Hello. I, uh, I really did try for you, Miss Forrester. I did my best, but, um, they don't like this at head office. You're in a situation. Now, uh, they will pay this amount this time, but uh, your premiums, I'm afraid. So they don't like it at head office? Understandably. Let me tell you a little story about the insurance companies and a spineless legal system. I've just come from the hospital. Losers. All are choosers, all beginners At the start of the game We're the same, all the same Now the time has come and the difference then You can't cut and run, cause it's sink or swim So go on, make your move Down the street, tired feet Echoes cold as still There must be a someone somewhere Who has space to fill Stay with me, sweet reverie Hold me while you can Hold me till the heartache fades away Introducing the Red Peppers. Has anybody seen our ship? The yes, air is disgusting. You mucked up the exit. Nobody else did. You did. Well, what if I did? It was an accident, wasn't it? I couldn't help it. It doesn't matter why you did it or how you did it. You did it. All right, I did it. Well, don't do it again. Oh. Joan Collins and Anthony Newley are Noel Coward's bickering Red Peppers. Sunday at 8:35 on BBC One. Now on BBC One, we look back to the splendour of this afternoon's enthronement of the Most Reverend George Carey as the new Archbishop of Canterbury. The commentator is David Dimbleby. Father in God, in the name of the Lord we greet you. In the name of the Lord we greet you. May the peace of God our Father be upon this house and upon this company. At exactly three o'clock this afternoon, the new Archbishop of Canterbury, George Carey, knocked on the west door of his cathedral, seeking entry for his enthronement as Bishop of Canterbury and Primate of Warren. 
and waiting for him a congregation made up of many members of the Diocese of Canterbury, bishops and archbishops of the Anglican Communion both here and abroad, representatives of other Christian churches and of many other faiths, and members of the government, the opposition, and of the royal family.